These are the highly recommended food to try in Boracay. Let me take you to our first stop, which is Pig Out Bistro. This is a quaint restaurant located in Station 2, Boracay. This place is pretty quaint. With their open kitchen design, you would be delighted to know that they make everything fresh. I had an opportunity to have a quick tour of their back door walk-in storage and preparation area and here you'll see that the seafoods are literally alive they're oh so fresh you guys back to the main restaurant big out's best seller is their bone marrow all beef burger it's so amazingly soft and tasty the bone marrow literally melts in your mouth this costs for only 628 pesos or $10 and it is made of U.S. chuck patty, bone marrow, chimichurri, cheddar cheese, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and it comes with hand-cut fries. These are our other orders which honestly you can skip. <laughs> But another bestseller of theirs is their creme brulee. It is so soft, so yummy, so creamy. You must try it. Another day, another restaurant to feature. Let's now go to Subo. Subo is a Filipino restaurant located in Station 3, Boracay. The interior of the restaurant is actually pretty aligned with their menu. They have a lot of artworks hanging all over the place and this is actually an old house converted into a restaurant. The place doesn't have air condition but that's fine because you will be greeted with free drinks and live music. They have a wide selection of food in their menu and their prices ranges from 300 pesos to 2,000 pesos or $3 to $35 and I'm very amazed with their menu. I noticed that every food they have has a twist. For example, the spinach bet has basil in it who puts basil right but it's so yummy another one is their own version of nachos with their crispy mm, vegetables i think these are kang kong and their dips are so amazingly good too another crowd's favorite is the baked oysters super yummy and this is literally one of my favorites here. This one is their boodle plate and it costs at 1,900 pesos or $33. It has a lot of stuff in it such as grilled pork, grilled chicken, stuffed squid, and butter garlic shrimps with eggplant ensaladas and garlic rice. It's really good for groups. Another favorite of mine is their gising gising with bagnet on top. I love spicy food. Oh, and this one. Last but definitely not the least, we ordered this twice because it was so, so, so good. This is their ube choco lava cake, as you can see. It doesn't really have anything in the middle like the usual lava cake that you see, but aside from that, it's really yummy and unique. We're almost at the end of this video and just wanted to share again the artworks of this place. The staffs are amazing and they wear this modern Filipiniana and I think if you are a foreigner, you would really appreciate this place because it showcases Filipino structures and interiors. And here, they have a very unique way of showing you the bill. It comes with an old school iron. And you see my best friend here, she was shocked to see the bill because it was so crazily cheap. We ordered a lot, guys. And that's the end of it. I hope this video helps you. And if you have tried any of the records, please comment and let me know. Thank you. Goodbye.